In this tutorial for Adobe Photoshop CS 5.1, we're going to be looking at how to create some homepage mockups or layout comps, um, starting from scratch, working with wireframes and importing images and laying them out using Photoshop's layout tools. So to begin with, we're going to look at starting a new file um, from the beginning. Uh, so we're going to open up a new file and have a look at some of these options. But the first thing we need to do is to figure out what size our web page is going to be. So one way we can do that is to use Photoshop's ruler tool. So if you first of all open up a web page in your web browser, so if you open Safari on a Mac or Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, whatever you're using, or Firefox, and just navigate to a typical home page layout that you might be used to using, and do a screen grab or if you're on a Mac, just press Shift-Command-3, and that will save a screen grab to your desktop. Open up that file in Photoshop, and then go to your ruler tool from the toolbar on the left. And to use this uh, ruler tool, all you've got to do is click and drag at the top and the bottom of the area that you want to measure. So what we're trying to do here is to figure out what the width and the height of our web page should be typically viewed on a browser similar to the computer that we're using ourselves. So if you click at the top of the content area of your web page in the preview that we're looking at here and drag down to the bottom of the content area, let go, and at the top in the property panel there in Photoshop you'll be able to see the height that you've just measured. Do the same then for the width. Click on the left side of the content area and drag across to the right let go and you'll see the width uh, of your web page there. Now this is not an exact science, so it's going to give you an estimate of how wide and how high your web page should be. So I'm going to open up a new file uh, by going File New. First thing we need to do is give it a name. This is going to be Homepage Comp. Then I'm going to change the width and the height to pixels if it's in inches or any other measurement type because we're working within pixels for screen design. And then I'm going to enter the numbers for the width and height of my page. And I'm actually going to use a width and height here of 800 by 600, just to guarantee that it will be viewable on all browsers. I'm going to leave the color mode at RGB color and the bit depth at 8-bit. Next, we're going to change the background content uh, from the drop down menu you could change it to transparent uh, or any background color you like but it, we're just going to leave it at white for now because you can always change it in photoshop later if you want to so click on the advanced tab then and make sure that your color profile is set to srgb and you can leave the pixel aspect rate ratio at square pixels click ok and then save as to save your file as a psd or Photoshop file into your project folder. So the next part we're going to look at is storyboarding or wireframing your layout in using Photoshop's drawing tools. So you can, if you've already created wireframes in Illustrator, which is a typical practice in uh, web design pre-production, then you can just simply import those into Photoshop and use them as guides. But if you haven't done that, you can um, create those guides for yourself in Photoshop itself. So the first thing we need to do is to enable the show grids option and also show rulers because we want to be able to measure out the various parts of our layout and where the elements of our page are going to go. So once you've got the grid and the ruler on screen, we're going to drag out ruler lines, these blue lines from the left and the top of the screen, to mark out the space for the navigation bar, the logo, and the content. So if you just drag a couple of lines down from the top and then in from the left, you can mark these sections of your page out. Once you've got those uh, in place, you could just import your wireframe at this stage, or you can use Photoshop's vector drawing tools, like the rectangle shape from the toolbar, to draw boxes in place of your content. So before you actually import your artwork, you can draw them out, the guides, using 
the shape tools in Photoshop. So you can also adjust these Photoshop shapes using the sub-selection arrow. Now Photoshop is not a native drawing tool, so it, Illustrator is far superior at, at this kind of work, but you can get away with some simple drawing uh, options in Photoshop using these simple shape tools. So we're going to create a nav bar at the top, three content boxes in the center here just for illustration purposes. And then I'm going to use the type tool to add some text above these boxes. And I'm going to add some more text in paragraphs underneath the boxes just to flesh out the layout a little bit. So once you've got your wireframe layout more or less in place, what you want to do then is import all of your artwork. So your logo, your buttons, your background graphics, any imagery that you're using on the page, your frames, and your actual text. So what we're going to do is look at the layer structure here. Um, we're looking at a file here, homepage comp2. And we can see in the right-hand side of the layer panel that the elements are all organized into layer groups in this particular file. The reason being that when you start putting your composition together in Photoshop, you're going to end up with many, many layers, and it can get quite disorganized and confusing to keep track of where everything is. So by using the layer groups, it keeps everything organized. So what we're going to do is select uh, the purple box and green texture layer here and group them into a new layer group by clicking on the flyout menu in the layer panel and choosing new group from layers um, from the option there. Give it a name and you'll find that your two layers have been added to a new group. Very easy to do and you can drag specific layers in and out of different layer groups to organize them as you please. Okay, we're looking at the navbar PSD file here. And we're going to open up the three up view layout in Photoshop so that we can see all three of these files at the same time. And I'm going to drag the navbar layer group from the navbar file onto the home page comp file so that I can just show you. If you've got one Photoshop file with uh, multiple layers, you can just um, bring the entire layer group into a second Photoshop file and preserve those layers in the layer group for convenience. But one thing you've got to do is select all of the layers. It's not enough just to select the layer group itself. So select all of those, all of those layers and drag them into your homepage comp file. Okay, next we're going to um, bring in a photograph, which we can use as part of our content here. And just in the same way, just drag and drop one file onto another. And the photograph will appear in our layout comp. So what we're going to do here is save, uh, turn the photo layer into a smart object. And you should do this with all of the artwork that you're working with here. Your, your logo, your buttons, all of the graphics that you've brought into Photoshop to create your homepage mockup should be converted to smart objects because if you're resizing them making them bigger or smaller uh, repeatedly which you will be doing um, then you're going to lose image quality if you haven't got them converted to smart objects so just do that and it preserves a, a vector preview for you and preserves the quality of the original image okay so we can see if we use the free transform tool here we can make the photograph bigger or smaller and then bigger again, we don't lose any quality. And this is how you create a simple homepage mockup uh, in Adobe Photoshop CS 5.1.